Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Good old conflicts here, and welcome back to part four of Building Scrubville. Um, make sure if you haven't seen part three to go and check out part three with the awesome card down below that is definitely going to uh, be there that you guys can check out. And uh, as always, I'd like to just let everyone know that I'm a bit of a newbie booby at this game, so if you do see me doing anything wrong or anything that I can improve on, please, as always, leave me uh, feedback down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get back to building Scrubville. First thing I've seen on the map is I was a bit of a uh, silly idiot and I didn't fill up this uh, lovely area of water piping. So we're going to get that topped up and that will cover those. Let's get preliminary, just get some pipes in here just to make sure that they're uh, ready to rock and roll. Um, we survived the tram apocalypse. We've uh, we've managed to build ourselves a lovely tram station here and that is starting to uh, run quite efficiently now. Starting to get a lot of people using public transport, which is nice. We're getting a bit of a, bit of a tail back here with uh, trams, which is quite annoying. But apart from that, it's not all. It's not all horrible. But they're slowly moving in and out, and uh, they're running the line. So as long as that works, it's good. Let's have a look on my filters to see how we're doing with uh, transportation. We have a total of 52 people per week using the uh, public transport, which should hopefully start to increase actually, because. Um, We've got ourselves a good route. We've now got ourselves hooked up to the university somewhere. I have hidden the university from myself. There we go. We've set up another route as well that's going to be hooked up to the university. So hopefully we're going to have the uh, tram accommodating the students at university as well. Or at least that's the plan. Uh, we've got a new building. Oh boy. We have got... Oh, we've got a proper hospital. We've got a fully fledged hospital for healthcare. That is beautiful. Healthcare availability is more than good. Cemetery usage is good. Crematorium availability is not good on the other hand. Medical helico de helicopter depot. Depot. Can't even talk. Uh, sauna. We do not have access to the crematorium yet. We need to get 17,000 lovely people into our uh, city before we can do that. But also the plan of attack, I think, today is we want to start expanding into this area. I might buy the slot and use this lovely money that we've been accumulating to uh, start building ourselves some uh, more new areas. But also, we are going to start expanding on this commercial zone. Because while I do like uh, this area here, I just want to have this as, like, kind of not like a metropolis, but like a big like commercial zone on this side of the uh, highway because eventually the plan is going to be I want to uh, build multiple tunnels underneath the highway and have this area down the bottom here as a pretty much a suburban um, area a big city center and that's where all my uh, high density residential zones and my high density commercial zones are going to be we're going to upgrade that and make sure we have public transport as a priority in that area because I want to make sure that we've got a lot of public transport there so we can ease the congestion in that area because I've got a funny feeling that that area is probably going to get busy. Right, we've got more need for commercial, which is cool. We'll uh, fill that bit up and we'll fill that bit up. Fill that up so they can match just because I'm being really picky right now. There we go, that'll do. We'll fill these little areas in here. Up to about there. There we go. Fill that in there, and hopefully that should start taking care of my demand. Oh, and I was suggested in, uh, I was also suggested by some lovely person that I should make this, uh, what's it called, this high, this uh, roundabout one way. So I'm actually going to do that now. We're going to make it a one way roundabout, so uh, it goes round in that direction. Which shouldn't cause any problems. I hope it's uh, it stops. It should stop all of the traffic lights. Which in turn is going to significantly reduce the congestion. So it should just be stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Which it's kind of looking like it is. Um, bit of traffic build up here. But that's more high traffic than anything. How is our tram line doing down here? 88 out of 90 passengers. Can't complain about that. There we go. They've just uh, stopped off. Drowned to 69. But that's working exactly as planned. We've got lots of trams. We've got lots of people being moved around by public transport. Reduces the amount of uh, cars on the road. 
which is good to see. Going to start building some maybe some more off ramp type areas as well around here. Uh, a dead person is waiting for transport in the small. Oh boy. Okay. Let's build another crem uh What's it called? Let's build another cemetery. <laughs> I don't really want to build one next to the university because it's kind of morbid, <laughs> you know. Having a cemetery next to your uh, university. Yeah, kids, look forward to the future. You're gonna die. <laughs> kind of not sending the right message to the uh, to the youth of tomorrow. Yeah, kids, work hard. You're gonna get be in debt for the rest of your life from university, and you're probably gonna die of it. But you know, happy life, positive vibes. You only live once. <laughs> right, that's hooked up. That's hooked up. Let's hook you up there. Beautiful. But yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. How are we doing on water? Water availability and sewage treatment is becoming a problem once again. A pumping service is not really needed. An eco water. I'm going to need another one of these bloody eco water outlets. Literally, these things are filling up the uh, this damn coastline of ours. Right, well, river bed, sorry. It's not really a coast, considering we haven't got a beach. There we go. Hook you up. Hook you up. Water availability has jumped. Sewage treatment. Sewage treatment. There we go. Sewage treatment is better. I mean, that'll do for now. I think it'll be more than adequate. Large avenue with bus lanes is new. Could pick up a taxi depot, actually. Yeah, actually, that's a point. Why don't we build a taxi depot next to... That's going to annoy some people, I know. But if we've got the tram here, let's also... Let's also sort out our electricity. Because, oh, buddy, that has gone completely wrong. Okay, let's build. There we go. Let's see if that does anything. That should help with the grid. But building all of these here, I'm definitely going to spread these out along here. I'm also thinking we've got all this area here that I can expand out to with a uh, with more industry. So once I get there, I can start moving these down. Although I'm thinking right now, we keep getting power problems. That's my main issue. So I think I'm just going to bite the bullet right now and just put in a coal power plant. I know it's not green. I know it's not clean. And... Uh, Maybe once we get like a geothermal plant, I can rip these out. But right now, they're just... It needs to happen. Uh, Firewatch Towers. Yeah, actually, not half a bad idea. Considering we've had an earthquake and a thunderstorm already, I wouldn't like to try my money on the fact that the forest fire could kick off. So we're going to have a watchtower up here, because this is the nearest area here that could cause a fire. And probably one next to the highway here. And that should give us ample coverage and ample warning about uh, anything that arises. Maybe one along here to please the people. And these guys are not particularly happy with their fire coverage at the moment either. 60,000 for that big fire station. I think for now we're just going to have a little... Uh, have a nice little fire station there. That should hopefully bring down that hazard. Minus 41 hazard is not good. Not good at all. Higher chance of hazard is never a good thing. So hopefully that should start rectifying that. I'm probably thinking I want another one. Yeah, let's build another one here. And that should hopefully start affecting some of them as well. Lots of happy people. Lots of uh, upgrades pinging right now. It's what we would like to see and like to hear. Demand for commercial is still going quite high. Uh, right now, so let's start filling... Let's fill some of that in. Fill some of these in. I can hear all of those lovely pings right now. All I hear is ping, 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 which is uh, beautiful. Just what we want to hear. Uh, actually, that's the fault. Why don't we have... If you're going to be on a university campus, you're going to have local stores and uh, such. Actually, you're going to have more designer stores and whatnot next to a... Uh, next to a university. Are you going to have more of your higher end bigger company stores. So let's build our first bit of a high density commercial zone along this uh, alongside this university, which I must say is looking marvelous tonight. Got a couple of abandoned buildings, which is not good. 
Which shows a way that it would tell you why they abandoned. Why they were abandoned. Yeah, we can hear all those upgrades going off as well. That's good to hear. Residential is spiking, which is also lovely. Don't really want to push too hard here on... Um, building area. I do want to at some point get on with expanding the... Is that a firehouse? That is a firehouse, isn't it? I'm not going crazy. If that's just a normal house, I'm going to... Yeah, it's a firehouse. I thought it was. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just fill this area in. There we go. And what else can we do? Kind of trying to keep intersections. Um... What I've seen to, what I've noticed a lot is if you do, if you get four-way intersections, uh, if you get four-way intersections, so you got one here, one here, one here, one here. They seem to get very congested and jam up. But what I've noticed, if you do T-shaped intersections, so for example, it's only three lanes, so this one, this one, this one, it seems to be a lot more um, less congested. We still obviously have our traffic issues. I mean, this area, this road along here, is a big problem. Yeah, that ain't good. I don't know if that's just traffic buildup or what, but that could be very much... Yeah, that ain't good. Uh, right, let's see about squaring that off, because that is not nice at all. I definitely do not like that. Let's maybe start having a... Maybe a road along here to ease congestion if we've got people coming out of town. I guess what we could do is do 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 do. I can see that commercial zone upgrading as well actually while I'm there. Uh, Fixing this, which is always nice to see. Add a bit more curve there. Let's get some more. Let's get some more residential areas up there. Maybe as well, because we've got like a university type area here. I'm thinking maybe put in a couple of. Uh, let's put a couple of these um, apartment buildings in, just to accommodate some of our uh, some of our lovely students that will be going to our university here. Because if we uh, if we have them nearby to the uh, university, the hope is that they're actually going to. Uh, walk to said university rather than uh, getting their cars. As for... Uh, as for our issue with congestion on this line... Hmm... How can we reduce congestion here? What is the main... Why are we getting such congestion? Uneducated. You're travelling to university, but the whole reason I built that tram line was for you idiots, so you could, uh... Use this. The only thing I can think is maybe having a pure... Public transport line along here somewhere that, uh... Completely dedicates to this, uh, to this road to completely reduce it. So, I mean, we're using the trams, and they're picking up a, a boatload of people, but we're just still seeing such amounts of congestion here. You can see here, for example, this four-piece intersection, where you're getting people locking up and stopping. Uh, I believe I'm shadow banned from Sherpa. Does anyone see this chap? <laughs> but, yeah, this here is... Blech. We need to fix that. Um... Any suggestions for fixing this uh, block, ladies and gentlemen, would be very much appreciated as well. Do leave me uh, notes in the comment section below. It's mainly private cars that are focusing on this one route. So I wonder if it will be worthwhile to get something along the lines of... Hmm... I don't know, maybe like some public, some more public transport, I guess, would help free that up. I've never actually messed with the metro stations, and I don't know if I want to. Back as train needs to be on circular lines. No, I don't think I'm going to mess with those. Didn't actually want that. Whoops. Let's get rid of that. 
Uh, we could do a taxi service, I guess, which would help to an extent. That can probably sneak on there. I have been a bit of an idiot and not filled that up. Just trying to think what's the best way I can uh, do this. I'm thinking it's going to be public transport to reduce the congestion, but I was kind of hoping that tram line was going to fix most of these issues that we were having. Evidently, that seems that's not the case. I'm thinking definitely want the biofuel, bu biofuel bus depot. Costs a bit more money, but the uh, being eco-friendly is uh, always nice. Don't really want to be near to the tram link. I think what we might do is build the bus depot down here, have the starting route along here, and then have going into town. So having uh, workers coming in, because we're getting a load of abandoned buildings here as well, which is uh, rather worrying. So let's build that, and let's... Uh, could build these six laners with bus road. Uh, Yeah, actually, why not? Let's upgrade all of these uh, six laners in here with bus lanes. And the more people we can get to use public transportation as well, especially in this area, the better off we will be. Might even upgrade, actually I can't upgrade the... Uh, I sadly can't upgrade the ones on the roundabout to have bus lanes. That would be pretty nifty, but I need to keep them one way. Didn't actually really need to upgrade that one, but we got the one way road there, so that'll work for me. Uh, uh no, 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 no. You are going back to. Uh, one way six laner. There we go. That might be why the refuse is built, uh, why the rubbish is building up there, to be honest. Uh, let's relocate that police station. That's why we're having issues with garbage pile up, because it's the one way area. I mean, you're all getting your police station back so you can chill out. But yeah, it should be a simple entry point. I kind of want to keep this road open as much as possible so we don't have uh, any problems with stuff piling up along there. This is a big problem. And the more and more I look at it, the more and more it bugs me. But anyway, priorities. Let's work with this. We've still got garbage piling up, but it should be a bit more accessible. No, because again, that's on the one-way road. Alright, how about here? Right, you still facilitate all of that. There we go. You pretty much facilitate that whole area there. Because we're getting a load of uh, abandoned buildings as well. Which is not good. Right, okay. These guys are pretty much lower on a fire hazard. We could use a fire station somewhere along here. Probably been saying bye bye to one of these buildings here, to be honest. Yeah, let's build a fire station there, accommodate a bunch of people. There we go. More happy people, more happy pinging, happy days. Our residential demand has gone through the roof, but I don't know if I really want to put more stuff in here at the moment because of Jesus. Just this, uh, what I can only say is a shit show. Right, okay, so traffic flow is starting to get bad because of this area. The rest of the area is pretty darn good. It's just this one area along here, because that's tailbacking so damn far. I can understand with the trams possibly clogging it up a little bit, but... Even that. I mean, we're up to 443 passengers a week on that tram line. So that tram line is definitely working. So I'm hoping to have way more success with that biofuel bus depot over here as well with um, accommodating people. Because if I can hook up a transport link that goes all the way around this industrial district, 
then heads into town and then stops maybe somewhere along here. Maybe somewhere into town here where they can then get the metro and then work their way back into the inner depths of the city over here. I think that will work a bit better and hopefully reduce the congestion along here. So we're going to give that a try. So we're going to create a new line starting off here. Okay. Okay, let's do it like this then. Let's create a new line starting from here. Let's go along here. Along there. Along there. Why can you not make a left turn there? Is it because that's a one-way street? Is that why you're getting the... Uh... Ah, because of the one-way street there. Hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that stop there. And let's build... Hmm. Let's go left. So you're being fussy about that as well. Okay. Let's go left here. Because then you want to pull a U-turn to go all the way around there. Which just seems rather moronic. You can't part find to there. Maybe just up to here and then, I don't know, possibly pull a U-turn. Nah, let's not do that. Let's have it to here and then let's have them. Then let's have them head around here. Head up to here. I'll stop there. Uh, let me now put another stop. Okay, let's uh, let, let's play ball with the road. We can edit this later on, where if it goes completely uh, wrong. Okay, but to do that, we take we take a whole spin circle around there. Okay, I mean, I guess. Alright, let's entertain the game a second, and uh, I know these routes, this is going to be like a wacky route. And it's not going to be perfect, but hey, what is perfect? Let's maybe do a stop here on the outskirts. A stop up here. Stop up here. Then we've got to stop right there, and then they can go straight to the tram line there, is what I'm thinking. Up the commercial zone, straight through to here. Push round to here. Make a stop in. Actually, let's move that stop. Let's park that right here, so they've got they got right next to tram access there. Let's fill that road in there. Then let's make a nice little brief stop. We're going to make a nice stop there. Actually, no, because we've got to go around the other way. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, actually. How can I do this? I guess we could go all the way. Actually, no, because we can go all the way down here and then turn onto the road. Actually, yeah. I don't know what I was. I don't know why I'm thinking against it. Yeah, I can pull one stop here. Then you can go all the way around the roundabout. Perfect. First stop can go there. Then first stop along here to all the industrial buildings. Have another stop up here. Then all the way there. There we go. Complete the line like that. I think that might be a bit of a better line, actually. I think that should accommodate most of the uh, the bus workers. The million dollar question is, why are you not? Oh, because you need to be connected to the lines.
Huh, hang on. So why are you not coming off of that? Okay, where's that stop? Let's uh, let's first stop there. Yeah, see, it can't create a path to there, which is uh, so you'll add a stop there, and you'll complete the line there. Which is weird. Alright, entertain me for a second game. If I move... Okay, actually, double entertain me here, game. I'm going to annoy people by having the sound pollution up. If I move you to down there... Yeah, weird. Okay, right, actually... Let's do it like this then. Let's have the. Let's slot that back there for a second. Let's have it. So let's move. Uh, I want drawing one. And I just noticed while I'm trying to fix this that my residential demand is absolutely through the roof. Let's add in another uh, line down here. Let's add. Right, let's move this depot to here. And let's build a proper bus depot here. Right, okay, so now if, let me sort out the water and the elect electricity over here. Ah, there we go, oops. Ah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so they were just being fussy by the looks of things. Let's edit that line now, though, so that... Um... There we go. Let's just modify. Where's the other stop that's in here? Just want to add a simple stop into here. There we go. Fine. Let them just do that. I know it's not completely neat, but for now it will do. Keep them rolling like that. We got... <laughs> now we got the bus apocalypse. We had the tram apocalypse, and now we got the bus apocalypse. But hopefully those bus lanes should help with the uh, significantly help with the traffic. Gonna need to spread them out though, because uh, that's gonna be problematic. Where are all the garbage trucks? I mean, you're sitting on a tram and you're complaining about the garbage trucks. Okay. Right, anywho, that's been appeased slash dealt with, so that's fine by me. Got a nice little residential zones that have come up here as well, which is good to see. Uh, let's pop mainly some more. I think to about up here, we'll pop in some more residential. Um, this area, this road here should be fine. I'm going to fully uh, pop that out of residential, let people build on that. Our commercial is doing good here. What I would like to do, though, is throw in some, um, just some more high-end retail bits and bobs. So, throw those in. Oh, done that one over on them. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's cool. Then they should build up. That should hopefully deal with the uh, commercial side of things. Let's build a... Is that a tram line? No. Let's build a stand road here. Cuts through that shop, I know, but let's build a nice little... Uh, let's build like a nice little high street chain along here as well. 
Although garbage collection I'm seeing is a problem down here, so I'm probably tempted down the far reaches of here. Maybe to have another recycling plant, I think. But yeah, we're having a lot of problems with workers right now as well. I think it's because I'm pretty much certain it's this traffic jam here. That is the reason we're having problems. So what I even what I can do is bite the bullet and knock out some of the road here, which is going to completely screw with the route and just keep this as a T junction. Well, a funky T junction in that regard. Or yeah, see, all of this is used by the trams, so freeing this up is going to cause problems either way you look at it. If I keep it as a T junction, like that, and knock out one of these areas, that's going to drop congestion, I hope, by quite a big amount. One citizen, one citizen per week at the moment, uh, we're transporting by biofuel buses. I really hope that picks up. I think I might have to bite the bullet here and knock out one of these um, these areas. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to knock. What's that area do? That goes straight down there. That's basically just an escape route on the way out of that route. So I think I'm going to try quickly. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's just do a standard little road. Along there with like a dead end. Let's see how that performs. Let's see if we start to unjam some of this traffic here. I know it's quite a tight... Um, tight area, but hopefully we should start to see this... It's starting to speed up a little bit here now, which is what we like to see. Hopefully we should start to see traffic flow starting to die down a little bit there. Yeah, because I can hear emergency vehicles are not getting through as well, which is also a uh, a big no-no. There we go. It seems to be flowing a lot better than what it was. A hell of a lot better. I mean, we still got a bit. We still got a little bit of backlog, but I'm hoping that should start to be uh, dealt with. Got a lot of people stacked up there. Actually, I need to fix the route now. And I get the feeling you're going to be a pain and not play nice with me to fix that route and that tram route. Gonna be ever so much fun. Not. Right, let's move these lot out. Let's spread these out a bit more. Uh, we've got more access to commercial zones there. People are just choosing not to build on them yet. Residential again is through the roof. We've got 72,000. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy this bottom tile. There we go. We've got a nice little uh, square shape there of uh, area to expand into. What I'm thinking we're gonna do is. I'm going to have, although it's probably going to be to the annoyance of these people, I'm going to have two one-way roads into this main city hub. I'm going to have an off-ramp that comes into the city, or sorry, an off-ramp maybe around about here that spins onto the city, but I'm also going to have a uh, tunnels going through underneath this highway. So let's think about how I can do this. I mean, these zones are going to be busy, so I'm thinking we definitely need road maintenance wouldn't actually be too bad of a, yeah, actually, that wouldn't be too bad of a thing to have right about hmm, now. Let them travel around the city and start improving the uh, the roads, increase the road speed, like for example, if they start unjamming this road and we get some more movement, that will be fantastic. Yeah, we're still getting people on the monorail. I mean, we've lost these stops here. Which I'll have to clean up at some point. But, I mean, we're still getting loads of people running on the monorail. 
which what we got here yeah we've got 58 people traveling there and that's halfway through so let's see how the uh, how's the bus route doing 14 per week okay it's starting to increase a little bit we're starting to get more people coming onto the buses which is what we like to see But I'm thinking our main problem is just that con that one route that's congested right now is causing half this city to jam up. Which uh, I really, really do not like at the moment. That that's one route is just completely screwing up our whole area. I'm going to tweak him there. Beautiful. But anywho... Hopefully we'll we'll see if that starts to uh, we'll see if that issue starts to sort itself out now because there was a big backlog maybe it will fix itself fingers and toes crossed um, right what I'm thinking into town from here is I want one way I want to specifically have a one way road uh, going into town nope I wanted to go a bit lower than that, thank you game. When I said I wanted to go uh, underground, what do you mean slope too speed? Could you please? thing I can think is actually is to let's knock that road out let's do an overpass let's do a bridge that goes over that uh that area you are gonna be really finicky with me aren't you right let's push that out to there that one pillar. Okay. So it's that one pillar that's being a pain, but there we go, got one way onto there. Let's uh let's upgrade that as the one way coming uh over and then as for you have. I was thinking, I, I was definitely thinking that I wanted tunnels. Unless I can drop it. Can I drop it around about here? Actually, that's a question. Ah. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Because that looks a hell of a lot nicer. Right, let's rip this up. Right, let's do a tunnel straight down from where we are here. There we go. Then bring the tunnel up. There. Awesome. Right, and then we can bridge off as needed. There. I'm probably, just for congestion wise, because I know how busy I'm going to build this area, I want to keep this as... Um... Okay, let's rip that out. <sighs> let's do you to there. Alright, that'll do for now. Uh, I know that's not all completely one way. Uh, let's upgrade you to one way. Let's upgrade you to one way. Uh, actually, there's no point of even having that road in the middle. That road in the middle is just pointless, really. Hey, there we go. We've got a small city upgrade as well. It's about time. Level 6 unique buildings. We've got the train, we've got the monorail, and we've got cable cars. Oh, the monorail is tempting. Oh, that monorail is very tempting. High-tech housing, which turns homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. 
might do that in this uh, industrial area, I think. One-way monorail tracks. Yeah, definitely thinking we're going to do some stuff with cars. Uh, with some trains, even. But we've got our one-way we've got our one way area here into town, so we've got people that can come in and out of town as needed. Going to try and keep these intersections just T-shaped for now. Uh, need to flip these. go that one's backwards that one's backwards that one's backwards there we go so that's our outbound route that's our inbound route so we've got our first uh, our first branching off bit of there let's do kind of want to I know that I don't usually say that I like to keep stuff in like a uh, squarish type um, rigid shape but for this I think I definitely want to keep this in as much of a squarish shape as possible I kind of want this to look like well pretty much the best way to put it is like a concrete jungle type of uh, area that again is a free that should be fine that should be fine just trying to make freeway intersections here rather than fours uh, as long as we got them free like that that they could do whatever the heck they want I think that's better off than just the four-way intersection I just don't think they're worth I say about making not making four-way intersections I go and care to create one that was not particularly clever I might upgrade these to actually thinking about it, I might make decorative decorative trees onto this because they lower noise pollution this is going to be a really busy area but before I even start thinking about any of this or building out any of this pipe uh, and waterworks are number one priority. Let's get the pipes up to there. Probably need to start thinking about heating at some point as well. Probably not right this second, but sometime in the near future. There we go. Expand that out. Put those two up. It's just a lovely noise when you hook those two, when you hook up pipe networks together. I may be weird, but you know. Um, right, so anyways, we can start thinking about constructing a city area here at least. We've got one way in, one way out. Yep, one way in, one way out. Which is actually not hooked up yet, which is uh, rather silly. Let's have you there we go we've got a freeway intersection it's actually a bit too close to that one for my liking don't want two intersections right here jamming each other up so let's rip that out let's possibly have hmm I guess I could put it there and uh, hmm. I could on the other hand actually turn that into if I turn this into a roundabout area here actually I could probably it might help a little bit actually hmm Let's rip this. God, we're going to tear right now, I know. But let's, if I build. Actually, then again, that isn't bad how it is. You've got the one way coming into town and then making a left turn into town. Because I don't think people are going to go in and round. Obviously they are at the moment because they're being pains in the arses, but I'm thinking hopefully that they should um, might not get uh, no, I'm not even going to risk it actually. Let's 
Fairly predetermined roundabouts. That's Cloverleaf intersection. There's a small roundabout there. Uh, what is the rotation key? Oh god, that's a question. That's actually a good question. Um, I will actually have to look that up, but for now... Yeah, if we're... Well, I'll do it in, the, in a little while, actually. Well, uh... Probably in the next video, we'll start messing around with that a bit more. We'll have a... Uh, if we have a large roundabout here, hopefully that should bleed off some of the traffic coming in. But for now, we've got... Let's temporarily chuck in. I know this is a jagged, kind of crooked uh, line, and that's going to cause problems, I do know. But for now, let's just have that in there. up along here. Let's have another six road. Then again that causes, I'm trying to avoid doing four way intersections as much as possible, especially at an area like that where it's going to cause real problems. But for now, let's throw in some Let's start, let's start constructing this area and uh, hopefully start seeing some civilians coming in and out of this area. Because if we can start seeing them coming in and out, then uh, that's what I want to know, is how that goes. I want to pretty much have a dedicated area along here somewhere that we purely build offices for work. But apparently our job, um, at the moment our uh, demand for... Uh, industry and offices is actually rock bottom so I might actually leave that for now but yeah pretty much this area along here I want to be a proper city type area it's gonna be a high hustle and bustle area so it's gonna have congestion um, well hopefully it's not gonna have congestion but I want it to be like a big area big population area although the only problem is which I just realized before doing that is how the heck are you going to get electricity up to that? Hmm. It's just going to have to be a pipe or something. It's just going to have to be a thing going over it, I think. Although they're mass building on that, which is good to see. Maybe let's have Okay, let's That's pretty much uh, It's not a clean way of doing it right now But it's a temporary fix To, pro to said problem Right, so we've got a lot of uh, Like big apartment areas type areas along here so let's start building some commercial along here for them transport links are definitely going to be a big one for this area if I want to reduce congestion as well I'm thinking but I want to kind of the thing I'm going for here is I want these guys in this area to remain in this area I don't want to see them going over here and over there if ideal still need to connect that outside but still haven't done that but we're actually in good shape for money. I need to check. Have I paid back my loans? No, I have not. There we go. My loan's paid back. Awesome. Let's build a large uh, fire station over here as well, actually. Which should hopefully make the peoples happy. There we go. They're all adequately covered. They'll be overjoyed by this. Uh, we're going to have a probably a hospital along here as well somewhere in town geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute residents should take precautionary measures parts can collapse and create sinkholes anything in the sinkhole area can be destroyed if this goes anywhere near i think it will i will uh, definitely be turning disasters off <laughs> uh, that's literally what that's three videos and we've had three different uh disasters
Oh, where is that sinkhole? Oh, really? Oh, that. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's Sucks. way and contact authorities with any information. Okay, that's not okay. Uh, it's not great, but it's not horrible. But literally, come on, man! Every single one now that we've had freaking that we freaking played this, we've uh, we've had like a natural disaster. I'm seriously weighing on the side of uh, there's got to be an option. that has got to tone it down a little bit, cause like, don't get me wrong. Now we've been what three hours, four hours into this playthrough now, and we're already getting uh problems with what's it called with uh multiple natural disasters it's kind of like ugh. while i add for while, while i say variety is the spice of life constantly getting uh earthquakes sinks holes thunderstorms and whatnot is uh a bit annoying so we're probably going to tone that down a tiny bit Right, so we're going to have a commercial. We're going to pretty much dedicate this zone here to commercial. There we go. Up to about there. Then along here, I want to have offices for these lovely people that they can come to work through here. Let's build a nice office block area along here. Let's actually... don't want that last uh, little chunk there. There we go. So we're going to get rid of that. Then all along here, that should start to accommodate jobs as well. Actually, should hopefully start making some people happy that they've got lots and lots of uh, jobs that are freely available. Even though those commercial districts actually should do the trick. In fairness, they should. Uh... Actually, no, I don't want that one. Oh no, one bit just yet. I kind of want to match that. Yeah, that's matched. That's cool. So up there. But we'll see how that starts first. We probably could start building some more... Uh, start building some more roads. Let's uh, go with... I want to keep this as much six lane roads as possible. I am very much trying to keep... Um, I'm trying very much as well to keep it so that we don't get a massive, as I was saying, a massive amount of intersections. I do not want, like, do not want four-piece intersections like that. Although, in that sense, it might actually be useful, because, um... If that's a natural off-turn there, that might, uh... The people can just turn off or go straight onto. I think that's actually not that bad. And uh, we need to upgrade those actually to one way. There we go. So we've got a straight up entry point there. And then we've also got the uh, exit point. I need to upgrade all of these to one way exit roads. We'll fix that. I'm definitely thinking we're going to be putting in a roundabout here. So uh, just for now gonna have it so that we've got a little like exit road along there that people can go in and out of but it's nice to see that they're using the uh they're definitely using the roads and they're moving the uh they're using this area over here good to see good to see we have crime rate is high in that building no wonder we're probably gonna get electronic uh, electronic issues electricity problems do we seriously have that bad of a crime rate up here indeed we do not good um Ideally, I don't want to build a huge police headquarters up here. I'm going to build a small police station up here. Because, I mean, we're starting to roll in the money. I mean, we're making 17000 a week now, which is uh, bloody good money. Where's that zoning? Uh, we have nothing along here. Okay. Kind of want to be nearby to the offices with um, emergency services in case the offices and stuff have problems. So... Uh, as this is going to be my main city, I think we're going to save up the money here and uh, get ourselves the 60000 for a proper police headquarters along here. And hopefully those should actually maybe upgrade some of these built residential buildings along here as well, thinking about it. Beautiful. There's the money. So 
it's up to about there. Okay. There we go. That should make the people absolutely overjoyed. They've got a large police station there that people can do patrols from. Everybody's happy. Yeah, so far so good. Those intersections are going well. We've got we haven't really got like a mass amount of traffic coming through here, so it's not a huge worry. We should hopefully have those connect up with electricity in a minute once these houses start bridging on. As well, uh, let's green light this uh, area of space. As well, actually. There we go. That should get electricity in a moment. Did we get any upgrades there? Looks like we might have done. No? We have 16 uneducated people. How are we faring for education then? High elementary availability is not good. High school availability is fluctuating but not good. And university is perfect. Okay. Right, let's build another, let's build another high school. Uh... What we got there? We're a maintenance depot. And we have the high school along there. Let's build another nearby high school. Why not? Uh, where have people got the least amount of happiness over this? Uh, let's build a simple... Oh, that's upgrade. There we go. Let's build a simple road off of here. Maybe have a road straight into university. It's gonna knock out some of the commercial area though. Do I really want to do that? I mean, I don't see why not. And we got another one of these joyous four piece. This is another area where we're caught getting problems. Traffic ones. I mean, it's not as horrible now, but it's still not that great. Right, are these guys, there we go. We got, we got, so we got students. So, for example, Winston Ward is using the tram to go straight to university, and then they'll walk up there. That's what we want. Let's actually let's try and increase the budget that my public transport has. If I push the budget up on my trams, I'm going to send the money for day and night all the way up. So that's going to mess with my maintenance money. Let's push that up. Now let's see how we're faring with trams. We've got 24 trams in use. Let's see if purely pushing, if we have, if we crank it up and we have the tram apocalypse, whether or not that's going to start helping with uh, congestion. It isn't for the moment, I know, but... I mean, that one picked up 20 people. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see if it makes a difference. I mean, no harm, no foul. If it does, then we'll keep the uh, budget up at that because we're only down to 12600 If it is too expensive, then we can always uh, drop it as well. Oh, the monorail station is tempting. It's very tempting to get at monorail station. Because we could get the monorail, because we could get a bus hub up here as well and connect that. And that would be actually really, really nice. I think for now in this area, because it is like the city area, we're going to have like a, um, we're going to have like a taxi service. We're going to have uh, a place where people can go and hire a taxi. Uh, it's going to annoy the residents for noise pollution, but. Why don't we set one up here, maybe? That people can uh, rock up to and uh, go get a taxi from. Actually, better yet. we got all of these offices here. So, uh, on second thoughts, why don't we have it next to the offices? That they can uh, happily hail a cab from there and just go off from there. Taxis in queue, zero or five. There we go, taxis in use for year 25. I'm presuming my taxi budget... Okay, let's crank that up as well. I mean, we're not short on money at the moment. 
So I'm thinking while we've got the money, we might as well just crank the uh, public service money into public services up to the maximum. I'm thinking for trash disposal as well, thinking that, about it. Let's push these up, see if that helps. Let's push the power production facilities. We'll hire more people and just produce more electricity with higher budget. Let's push these up as well because this might help with the... Thing. But like I've got all the, I'm cranking all of these up, and I mean it's start it's starting. We've probably spent about an extra two k on the budget, but all in all, what's that for? If the budget large parks are well maintained and create more happiness, yes, please. Don't really have any attractions at the moment. But yeah, we got thirty six million. We got thirty seven million um, in expenses. For 46 million, no, it's not even 46 million. Frickin' my mouth, it's 46,000. Sorry. Um, okay, so we've got our offices, we've got maybe some more. We've got more demand for residential. More people, more. Uh, they want more residential areas. I probably actually need to do that from the other way around. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that quickly. Let's get some more residential zones up to about there. And then we've got the taxi we've got taxi depot there, or they can queue up at the uh, taxi stand nearby. But hopefully as well, if they can walk to, if they're within close reach of the offices here, that the people that are moving in are like, I'm presuming office um, workers, if they're nearby to this, and I'm hoping that they're going to be able to just walk rather than... Uh, doing other things uh what else can we have here we've got fire we've got police we have not got medical and we need sixty-five thousand for a proper fully fledged hospital and also while i'm at it uh i quickly am going to make this into a district uh oh bin collections Skim that back a tiny bit for now. Right, let's expand you out. There we go. That's uh, right. That's middle district for now. Um, let's change the name of that. Actually, I prefer Scrub Town. Scrub Town in Scrubville. Default style. Oh, we can do vanilla or European suburbia. Nah. Uh, do 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 do. Parks and Recreation is on, which I definitely want. Education boost. Uh, boost the education budget and make young adults automatically choose education over working. No. Smoke detector. Significantly reduce risk of fire. Five credits per bill. Yeah, let's put smoke detectors in. Um. Extra insulation. Nah. High ticket prices, raise public transport tickets. Let's do. Let's do a recycle. Let's do extra uh, recycling demand. We're also going to need to have. Well, this area along here is also going to need uh, its own waste and refuse management, which I'm hoping once I get my industrial area up here, we can start working on as well. But for now, I'm going to chuck in. I'm hoping this helps with the other side of the map as well. I'm pretty much going to pump out four recycling stations here. And I'm hoping that uh, those are going to start making a difference. I need to change those because I put them as four laners rather than six laners. There we go. Beautiful. Still got high demand for our residential areas. Okay, let's fill this area out then. Yeah, literally, as soon as I'm putting it in, they're taking it off my hand. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, whoever's building. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry, people. Gave you the uh, wrong area to build there. Do not want you building on that one-way road. 
No, thank you. There we go. That's a bit better. Then we got our we got our on road there, but that should be. I mean, those small areas there should be enough. I think. Uh, house wise, anyway. Possibly these entry roads into these entry roads here into town. I'm gonna upgrade with um. Maybe with something along the lines of the greener versions of them, the ones that uh, they lower noise pollution and they help with high traffic. I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade those. Not to mention it looks a whole lot nicer, in my opinion. Hopefully, yeah, as this is doing here, we'll uh, cheer people up because these are not only aesthetically pleasing, but they'll help with um, just reducing the sheer noise, uh, sheer amounts of noise that they have to deal with. Although I did actually just screw up thinking about it because should have went that way. Should have went with decorative grass. Whoops. Alright, let's redo that now and do those with decorative grass. Which is going to slightly annoy these guys, but not as bad as what it could be. Well, once they come off of this off-ramp here... Uh, actually, yeah, we'll keep that off-road like that, and then these guys can... Do what they're doing, really. I don't really want to have too much along here. Maybe just some residential areas along here, because I don't really want to see... Yeah, see, no, I'm trying to expand too quickly here. Too quickly. But, anywho, I think we're in a good spot where we can uh, wrap this up and think about what we're going to do next. So I have hoped you have enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a like to let me know you're enjoying these. Make sure to subscribe for some more of these awesome Building Scrubville videos. And uh, make sure to leave me any comments and tips down in the comments section below. Especially with how you think I can deal with these traffic jams, whether or not it's... Uh, I should rebuild the road, work on the intersections. What should I do, do you reckon, to uh, start helping accommodate with these uh, blockages? But anywho, I am going to sign off. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I have been Conflicts. You have been you. Peace out, guys. And thank you for watching.